Nina Segil was a pioneering Philippine modern artist, remembered as a feminist and a mystic. She was one of ten children who later remembered feeling lonely at the family dinner table. Segil studied art at the University of the Philippines School of Fine Arts instead of the Catholic school her parents had in mind, where artist Anita Magsaysay was a classmate. Segil was awarded a certificate in painting in 1933. After World War II, Sagil was able to complete her studies at the University of the Philippines. She soon became connected with Hernando Ocampo and his many artist friends. She also became interested in modern art and was attracted to the work of Pablo Picasso. She completed her bachelor's degree in 1949, earning an award of excellence. Around 1952, Sagil became active in the newly formed Philippine Art Gallery, run by Lid Agia. Because her parents owned some property that provided her with income, Sagil did not have to work and was able to devote time to her art. Sagil paintings of the 1950s include modernized versions of traditional Philippine subjects, including rice planting. She also made rebellious, surrealist works, including one called Tower Room that shows a toilet-headed figure holding a plunger and a whip in a tiled bathroom. In 1954, a scholarship allowed Seguil to move to Spain, where she explored abstract painting. In 1956, Seguil moved to Paris to further her studies at the American Academy. The following year, Seguil had a solo show featuring works with linear and geometric elements. She later experimented with a syringe technique, similar to that of Fernando Zobel. Now isolated from the Philippine art scene, Sigil lived in solitude in a dingy Paris apartment, sometimes working as a maid to support herself. She lived in Paris for over a decade before returning to Manila for a 1968 exhibition. Nina Sagil's mature abstract works are often described as cosmos and many contain spheres, fibers, dots, vortices, and bubbles. Her imagery has also been characterized as cellular, and some of her forms appear as if seen through a microscope. After her death in 1994, Sigil was the subject of a September 1995 memorial exhibit at the Lopez Museum. It was soon followed by a major exhibit at the Cultural Center of the Philippines in 1997. 